set, begin. First we're going to show you how to tear one of these down so that you can check and see what your problem is and maybe solve some of your issues. Uh, I've loosened a lot of my nuts and bolts, but I'll tell you what tools you need to use as we go through this and you can, uh, you can see for yourself. On top here you have a nut that you just get a crescent wrench on and you loosen this. This comes right off. You pull this plate off. Remove that. You'll get inside here. You'll see this little rod with this little piston on top. You'll get vice grips on this rod. Get a screwdriver on top, which we did not do. Come back here like so. Remove this piece. As you see on top of here, you've got an O-ring. Check this for dirt. Wipe it clean. I would not clean it with any solvents. I would just use a rag. Wipe it down. Inside here you'll see four Allen screws, which I've loosened. This holds the air motor on. You can just lift this whole assembly right off. You'll see a cap gasket here. As you can see on there, it's a little wet. You can remove it. This just needs to be wiped and cleaned. Here you have your air body. Down here you have 7 16 screws and Allen wrench screws. You remove all of these. There's three 7 16 screws and two Allen screws. This whole assembly will then pull off. That exposes our cylinder. Inside the cylinder is a rubber piston. This right here. You need to check this for where you will see vertical lines going up and down on it. Clean this all off. This fits into that preventative maintenance might save you some money, save you a little time. You don't have to get real fancy. Just get a lot of the grit and stuff that you might see off of it. That way you can visually see if the piston is worn or not. This particular one, it's not bad. If you can get a shot from this side, you want to see a V cut. The piston is cut as a V. The more rounded it is, the more the piston is worn. Uh, if you've got a nice snug fit with this going back on, chances are you won't have an air leak. Look inside this cylinder. You'll check it for scars and so forth. As you can see, this one looks in pretty good shape. We'll clean it out. Check it. Looks real good. We'll take this particular unit. And as we assemble it, we'll line this with grease. Line this with grease and put it back together. Any type of grease is good. Uh, usually find one that's uh, more water resistant. Just get yourself a nice little layer inside. Take a little bit on this piston. More the merrier. Does it doesn't hurt a thing. Take your cylinder, you slide it back over this. Nice snug fit, push it down so it's flush with the bottom. And now we do the reverse procedure of putting it back together. <laughs>